Hi everybody, today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at the Mattel Creations exclusive Masters of the Universe Revelations Dark Lynn. This is her final fall! If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collection. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, and here we have the uh, Masters of the Universe Netflix Masterverse Dark Lynn in the Mattel Creation Special Packaging. I'm not sure why they decided to go with this style of packaging and not the retail packaging. Uh, maybe to make it more exclusive, maybe to uh, bump up the price a little bit, but we have this beautiful... Um, painting of dark land on the front and on the back we have another uh painting of her uh sort of the way she appears at the end of the at the end of the series and um let's see let's go ahead and just open her up it's more like a shoebox style uh package and then here on the inside kind of have like this little slip cover uh, with some more artwork in her final form uh right there and then you pull this off and then there you have the figure and all of her muscular glory and all of her accessories and stuff are down here. So let's, uh, let's see, is this connected? It's gonna slip down. So let's just leave that right there. And then let's open up this package here and see what's inside. Now for stuff wrapped up in some tissue paper. And what we have here is we have some glowing fist effects and some extra hands that's uh that's all we have in the tissue paper so let's get her uh fully opened up and get all this cardboard out of the way and take a closer look at the figure herself oh boy there is a lot to talk about with this figure here uh a lot there's a lot going on there's a lot going on uh both good and bad both good and bad. Um, I think this figure ran about $36 plus shipping um, from Mattel Creations. She was a Mattel Creations exclusive, and I do believe that she is um, sold out. Um, and so that was the only way you could pick up this figure. And I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, unless you're a strict completist on this Masters of the Universe Revelation series, this might be a figure you could pass up. Uh, and I'm going to try to be objective here. I'm going to try to, you know, I always try to be positive. always try to look at the bright side of things. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. So let's talk about it. First off, let's talk about her accessories. She does come with um, two open hands here uh, out of the package. Uh, she's supposed to come with two fists, one for the left hand, one for the right hand, but I got two left fists. These two fists are identical, and I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe it's supposed to come like that, but this little box of accessories that we saw, um, actually here on the bottom, it kind of shows you exactly what you're supposed to get, and it shows two flame effects, two open hands, and two fists, and you can clearly see she's supposed to have a left and a right. Um, I didn't get that. Um, so, oh well. Um, thankfully, though, these two flame effect pieces, if you can see down in there, they have like little grips. Um, and I think these are for either the hands that she has on her right now or the open palm hands um, for her to grip. These don't fit over the fists. So thankfully, you don't need the fists to use these two um, flame effects. I'm not going to contact the company. It is what it is. I got two fists. I'll just have to, you know, list that on eBay if I ever decide to sell this figure. But, um, just looking at her at, at first blush, she looks incredible. Like I'm, I'm not even going to trip on that. She, she looks, she looks incredible. She's got really good, uh, shelf presence she she looks great especially if you use the wired cape and have um the cape kind of coming out to the side 
like this. Um, there's a lot of, well, there's one of the problems right there. You can see her little, her little neck piece comes off. So especially like if you use the wired cape to pose and have it flared out, like it's blowing in the cosmic winds, um, winds of space, then she's got incredible shelf presence. Uh, for me, there's just a lot of QC issues going on with this figure that just uh, keep her from being like a home run for me. Um, so some of the problems that I'm having with this figure, and let's go ahead and get those out of the way and then we'll just spend the rest of the video gushing over the figure, right? Um, so anytime you're trying to move the figure around, this piece comes off. This little, uh, this little piece that goes around her head, you can see that there's two holes right here in her neck. Uh, and that's where these pieces kind of push into. Uh, they're not glued in, they just kind of push in and they want to pop out constantly. Um, so that's that's one thing that's kind of, I mean, you can shove them in there pretty hard, uh, but they're still going to pop out. The next thing that I have an issue with is that her arms won't go all the way down to her sides. You can see that like they're, they're permanently out. And maybe that's because she's supposed to be gesturing outwards. Uh, but yeah, they just, they don't go all the way down to the sides at all. Uh, I've got several instances of like paint being in the wrong spot, like right here. There's a little paint blemish uh, all the way around her arm. Uh, I have some paint blemishes all the way around this belt right here, if you can see that. Um, and then she has this massive fabric tag back here from China. Uh, basically saying that, you know, all new material, plastic, wire, stiffener, uh, made in China, surface washable. I mean, I, I don't know who's going to be, this is like washing care instructions. I don't know who's going to be washing this cape, but, um, and then there's a lot of Velcro going on. I mean, this is easy enough to remove with an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. You can get this off no problem. So, um, but there's a lot going on back here as far as how they chose to connect um, everything. Uh, there's a pretty stiff piece of plastic here on her back that her shoulder pauldrons connect to, uh, and they are uh, on a ball joint, so you can kind of move the shoulder pauldrons around somewhat. Um, but if you tilt one arm up like that, then the entire support system on the back dip goes down on this side. And so if you were to kind of lift both of her arms, the shoulder pads are not even really sitting on her shoulders anymore. They're kind of just pushed out of the way. Um, I'm not sure what would have been a better solution. Maybe if the shoulder pauldrons were more like mythic legions and they plugged in the back and came around like, plugged in individually and they were not on a singular support, but maybe they needed the support for the cape as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah, so I think that's really all of my complaints, honestly, uh, other than, you know, getting two left fists. Other than that, I think the figure looks incredible. The paintwork, let's see how close I can get in here on her face so you can see. The paintwork on her hair and face is just absolutely incredible. The paint is beautiful, it's beautifully applied. Uh, it's very clean. The eyes are, are straight, looking straight ahead. She does have this extra um, application here on the H, which does feel like it's glued in. This doesn't feel loose and wanna come off at all. Man, she is like super, super muscular. I don't think they've made, this may be an all new female body that they're using at least uh, for the torso and the legs, because we haven't had a, a female with uh, in this line where the legs are just completely um, uh, devoid of any kind of like clothing or wraps or boots or anything. Uh, I do love all of the soft goods. I think that the plastic blue paint or the the plastic um, loincloth part here. I think the colors match up pretty well with the blue and the gold and the blue and the gold and that's really hard to do between plastic and fabric so that looks really nice i really dig that uh, i love that she has a two-toned cape so you have one side of this cape is like this dark royal blue but the inside of the cape is got this beautiful 
um, gradient from a blue to a purple and all of the stars print all over it. Soft goods cape around the back and then um, plastic, which is like super soft and pliable here in the front. There's, like I said, there's a lot going on with this figure and there's a lot of places where this thing could have gone wrong and it did. And there's a lot of places where it went, it could have gone wrong and they got it right. So I, all in all, I think this is a, a really cool figure. Uh, I think she's a great addition. Like I said, if you're a completist um, to the Masters of the Universe Revelations line, uh, I, 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 yeah, I mean, I, I hope you ordered one or two and I hope you have yours and maybe yours has better quality control than mine did. Um, I do like the open palm hands, uh, very much. Um, and I may see if I can go in here and scratch some of this paint off. I just, I don't know if this belt piece is blue and it was painted gold or if it was cast in gold and painted with the blue diamond and maybe that's where I'm getting some of the paint rub. I'm not sure. I don't want to, I may have to test it in a spot where it's not very visible. The cape does look removable if you want to go through and um, pull the Velcro straps off. Um, she does seem to be, it does seem to be removable. So um, you can take it off if, if, if you'd like. Now, as far as articulation goes, she can um, look up about that far, look down about that far. She does not have an ab crunch, really. Um, she, it, she does have a, a separate torso. I mean, I guess she does. She can, she can crunch forward about that far and lean back about that far. She um, is articulated at the waist, so she can pivot at the waist. You do have some pivots, some side-to-side -side tilt uh, on that upper diaphragm joint. The arms can go up that far. They can go all the way around. If you get that shoulder pauldron out of the way, you have a bicep swivel. Double-jointed, pinless elbows. I mean, that's just incredible. We can't even get that on uh, Star Wars figures. Uh, so we do have uh, hinge and swivel here at the wrist. Uh, have legs can kick forward about that far and can, let's see if we can get all this fabric out of the way. Can, oh, can't hardly kick back at all. Double jointed pinless knees can go all the way back. And we do have an upper thigh cut, an upper calf cut. Um, and then hinge and swivel at the feet. And I forgot to mention the little diamonds on the feet look really nice. Like I said, there's just a lot going on um, with this figure. So um, she is a little hard to stand. You do have to kind of like get her in a really good position to stand, but you can, you can get her to stand. Let's get some of these accessories out of the way and um, bring her in next to her first form, which even without the display base, uh, Dark Lynn stands taller than the regular Evil Lynn, the very first Evil Lynn that we got. And then um, here is Evil Lynn from, Res uh, from Resident Evil. What am I talking about? Jeez, I need some more coffee this morning. Uh, here is uh, Evil Lynn in her bat form, which was her second form uh, in the show. And uh, there you have it. There she's... Uh, She's looking pretty good. She even stands taller than her, even with the bat ears. So uh, let's move these out of the way and bring her in next to um, the love of her life, Skeletor. Now, this is the Revelations Skeletor, but I just have a, a different head um, uh, put on him because I just, I've never really liked that Revelations head. And she even stands taller than old Skeletor uh, right there. So, uh, yeah, she is. She's looking pretty nice and pretty intimidating and uh, like I said I think she's gonna have some really good uh, shelf presence so let's get her uh, into some backgrounds let's get her uh, into some poses under some lights and see how she poses up man I have to say uh, for me this this is a, is a mi mixed bag there is a lot of good here and there's a lot of bad but I'm gonna try to you know take the good with the bad take the bad with the good and uh, just do what I can with it. And uh, I think she's going to look nice on my shelf. Uh, I'm just going to get her in a really nice position, really nice pose, and then just not fool around with her at all. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, she she does make a great addition to the Masters of the Universe Revelations line. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this episode. I really hope you uh, you dig it. If you did, please give us a like, a comment, a subscribe, and uh, hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when we have new videos go live. Also, check us out over at uh, Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And this has been the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark. And please remember that I will see you in the toy aisles. Mm-hmm.